in the mind of Christ. All right. Now, when you lose your mind, that don't mean you go crazy. Mm. You lose your mind because at that point, your thoughts are no longer your thoughts. Your thoughts are now of God. So we've got to lose some things so that we can acquire more of him. Mm. I'm going somewhere with this thing. At some point, you've got to realize, that's why in the scriptures it says that when man and woman join together, they become one. Because you lose yourself to become one. If you're not willing to lose yourself, then you're not willing to gain what God has for you in oneness. You got the triune effect. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They are three in one. They are three individual entities that are connected as one, which means that you can have God the Father and the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ. At some point, you got to realize that they all playing in the same field. You cannot allow for yourself to be split-minded between the world and what God is doing. Mm -hmm. At some point, you've got to be willing to lose it all so that you can gain later. It's like an investment account. When you invest money into an account, you don't get a return that day. They call that ROI, return on investment. When you invest today, don't go back to that account thinking that you're going to have funds there tomorrow. No, you've got to play the waiting game and wait for your return on investment that may not come until you've had some losses. Mm -hmm. Watch me now. God wants you to lose yourself. He wants you to suffer through some things so that you can gain greater. But you can't gain greater until you lose all. Because when you lose all, you realize that all you really have left is him. And so when all you have left is him, all you can rely on is him. But you didn't get there until you lost everything that you thought was important to you. You had to lose everything that was important to you so you could find out what was of importance for you. Some of us ain't willing to lose nothing. But when you find yourself and you don't have anything and all you got is God himself, uh, you will find out that that's truly all you need. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. But you got to be willing to lose some things. That's, that's why the impeachment process is so interesting because when they sit before those folks, they've lost everything at that point. Because they got to put it all on the line. Either they're going to lie under oath or they're going to tell the truth. That's why I say when, when we were in school, we would go to the principal's office. You had to look. See, at, at some point, it became greater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that spanking that was going to come from mama for you not telling the truth, come on now. Then it was about you facing your boys. I don't care nothing about my boys. I ain't trying to go home and get that woman that mama got for me. So let me tell the truth. Right. Because at that point, you're willing to lose it all because you're trying to gain having your truth told. So my question as we finish this thing up, what are you willing to lose? Last week we talked about you can't have your cake and eat it too. Right. What are you willing to lose? Because when you lose it all for Christ, you really ain't lost nothing. It's just that your, what, you, what you think that you've lost is what you don't need and what you're gaining is more than what you could ever dream of. Mm -hmm. I lose all the stuff here. Because mm. see, at some point, it ain't about the title. Mm -hmm. It ain't about the work that I do. All right, it on. ain't about the circles that I run in. At some point, I don't care if they accept me or not. I want to be acceptable in thy God's sight. All right. Right That's right. That's right. That's right. So Paul is talking about, I once was an outcast. Now I've been brought in and I'm on the inner circle. Right. And I've been on the other side to where I didn't have nothing to hold me down, but God accepted me in spite of what I was doing and brought me in. And when he brought me in, he taught me who he was and he teached me who he was. I gave my life to him. And because I gave my life to him, he's all, all this I owe to him. Therefore, I'm not going to put nothing else before. I'm going to give it all back to him because he's the one who first loved me. At some point, you got to get to the point to where you will lose it all just so you can gain from somebody who loves you despite your heart. If nobody knows me in this world, all right. As long as God knows what I'm doing, mm -hmm. as long as when I get to the pearly gates, 
And he flips over them pages in the Lamb's Book of Life. I'm going old school Baptist now. Oh, when he flips over them pages into the old, old Lamb's Book of Life, I want to be able to see him go down and say, good, good and faithful yes, service. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You were, you were faithful mm. over a few things. Over a few. Ooh. But now come on up a little bit higher. Because all the work that you did, you've been sending up timber. Mm. And we were able to build you a, a, a house. Because in my father's house, there are many yeah, mansions. Man. And if it were not so, Ooh. I would have told you, come on up a little bit higher. Because what you suffered down in that Ooh. world, I'm going to be able to bless you with when you get up here in heaven. So at some point, you got to be willing to lose it here. Right back up there. Mm, thank you, Lord. So I have people ask me all the time, how long do I have to suffer? That's mm. not, I can't answer that question. Because mm. I ain't on God's time. All right. But the question is, are you truly suffering? Because oh. <laughs> if you ain't truly lost yourself and lost your mind for Christ, mm. you ain't suffering. we got to be willing to have dedication. Yes. As I end this thing, these are your last notes. Yesterday, Kenny, I was in the car and I was driving to go over to the park to pick up the boxes, the baskets. And on my way over here, typically Saturday, I listened different kind of music. And my song came on by Nipsey Hussle. Well, <laughs> you rocked it on out. <laughs> Called Dedication. All right, that's my song. I'm sorry, that's my song. That's why I love Joe and G. We just keep it real. <laughs> Past all I to listen to is Hezekiah Walker. Uh uh. Uh uh. uh, -uh. uh, -uh. No. Kirk Hall, I'm blessed and high. Thank you, Jesus. You know, you're not. Right. Keep it real. Some tiny little Johnny Taylor. Right. $2 left. Come on, sometimes you need some style. Listen, get you right. Take on the phone. Right. Right. Yesterday. Nipsey came home with dedication and he talked about hard work plus patience. Mm -hmm. To tr be truly dedicated to God, you got to put in some hard work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes life is hard. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the lessons that we learn in life is hard. Amen. My grandmother, who was not a PhD, who did not have a college degree, told me sometimes that that bought experience is the best experience in the world. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to go through and bump your head to realize that that hurts. That way the next time you see it, you ain't gonna bump your head. That's hard work. But the other part of dedication is that you gotta be patient. Amen. Wait on the Lord. Wait. Lament with God. Don't rush from your circumstances because the pain is too much. You don't know how much you can go through until you go through it and realize how strong you really are and then realize that it ain't you that's strong, it's the God that's inside of you that's making you strong. Be dedicated. As we look forward to the dawning of a new year, 2020, everybody trying to put their tagline on. 2020 is about the year of shifting. It's about the year of realizing that where you were, you got to shift from to go get it. Go get it. That's all the Nipsey was talking about in that song. You got sometimes you just got to buckle down and go get it. God ain't going to give you nothing else because he's already given you enough because he woke you up this morning. Now go get it. Be dedicated to him like you dedicated to everybody else. Who ain't really willing to be dedicated to you? Stop getting into these quid pro pro situations. Mm. And give it all to God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just thank you right now for blessing us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for what you taught us today. Allow for us to lead. Being more dedicated. Allow for us to understand that Paul was somebody who uh, gave it all. It wasn't about titles. It wasn't about his resume. It was about what he did for Christ. It was about him chasing after the prize of the high calling of God. 
allow for us to realize that we all have a call on our life and that if God allowed us to wake up this morning, we ain't too young and we ain't too old to go get it. Enable us this week to go after, chase after you. No matter what, allow for us to chase after you more yes, this Lord, week Jesus. than we've ever had in our lives. And we'll be so careful to give your name and praise and honor that's so right there in the church. It's in these prayers I pray, let us all say amen. 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 The doors of the church.